Good morning. Doing a little something different today. I'm going sheephead fishing with my buddy Nick. It's all because obviously nobody else wants to go do anything. I mean, we got such beautiful weather here. While the rest of the country seems to be under a deep freeze, we're sitting here with perpetual summer. So I don't know what's wrong with everybody. But we're going sheephead fishing. Sheep's head fishing. Just for something different. So I'm getting a little rigged up here. And uh, show all the people who read my blog that, yeah, I can, I can sheep's head fish. I know how to do it. I mean, how simple can it get? Here's a egg sinker, swivel, about a 10 inch leader, and a wickedly sharp small hook on a white little rod. And uh, Shimano Corrado here. And we're going to fill up, I guess, one of these full of fiddler crabs. And we're going to be what I call dabbing. Dabbing down. Now, Nick's never really done it. Or at least that's what he told me on the phone a day ago. So we'll see what it's all about here and see what happens. A little something different. Now I gotta go to the bait shop, meet him there. So uh, it's gonna be real foggy and I'm sure I'll capture some of that footage. So hang tough today. We're going to hang tough in the fog and go see if we can uh, get ourselves some sheep's head. He's coming out of the lead of the heart now. Giant sea bass. Yeah, that bitch is. That's a byproduct. That's a byproduct of sheephead fishing. If he measures 13 inches, his, his ass goes in the box. Guess what? They're all 12 and 3 quarter. <laughs> 
Oh, I thought that was a sheep's head. Let's measure them. Watch, he's going to be 12 and 3 quarter inches. <laughs> he was something. I saw it when he put it down. I think you better step up and get the mouth, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> that is the same one that probably ate my damn bait. Yeah, I can have it. Don't worry about it. Yeah, I got one right here. Here we go. First one. First one. Damn bandit fish. I can tell. Sea bass come right up. These run. <gasps> Look at that! I barely got him! I've never seen him hook well. Oh my god, I barely got him. Oh yeah, look at that. Oh yeah. Hook him. Look at that. Oh man. That's a keeper. Man, these things are dangerous. Look how he's barely hooked. There's the hook. It come right out. All right. That's how you do it. And you get stabbed by these damn things. Okay. We just need more. Check that hook. Okay, it's still sharp. It's gone. Oh man, he's eating all the time in the world. Pinch their eyeballs. Right. All right, that's two for me. Gotta get the hang of it here. Getting the hang of it. Well, here we are, day two. I'm going to be going in Nick's boat today. So um, I'm meeting him here at the fancy marina where he keeps his boat. And uh, I'm actually here before him. I'm always before everybody. So we're going to go burn some more fiddlers today and see if Nick can catch a sheep's head on purpose. What the hell is this? Don't worry about it. A bunch of guns. You got a bunch of guns? <laughs> yeah. Have you checked with customs in the United States Coast Guard about they this? Don't need them. I don't know. They just, uh... Because that's the only thing that's going to be that's going to be better than when they point an M16 at you. Uzis, man, they're quick, concealable. Oh yeah, them good Jewish weapons, man. Yeah. That'll do us. We don't have it. We don't need it. That's right.
how clean it is. Oh my God. <laughs> Problem. Hello, rainy. <laughs> oh, down. oh my God! What did you say it was going to be clear, Dave? Oh yeah. I was like saying, hey, how can we? Eat? How come nobody wants to go fishing today? Yeah, I mean, if it if it wasn't for this bimini, we we just turned around, and here it comes. We're gonna have to wait this out a little bit. Yeah, here comes the wind that comes that's coming with it. It's gonna blow right into us. Oh boy, we're hiding. Pup red on the matrix shaft. Only what diehards do. Diehards and the stupid. <laughs> diehards and the stupid, that's right. Alright. Only thing that seems we catch fish is the matrix shad. how the diehards do it. I've got a matrix shad that a puffer ate the tail off and there's probably a keeper trout. Eh, 14 inches, I thought he was a keeper. Reprieve. Oh man, it's back pouring the rain again. See you later, Nick. All right, I guess we'll get a sheephead some other time. All righty, we'll do it again. Yeah. Bye. <laughs>